leader that he said he was going to be the day before he took office. He would not be swayed by popular opinion. Reagan's strategy for an end game to the Cold War was that there would be no coexistence. What we needed to see was the destruction of the Soviet Union. At the center of power in Washington, we have now witnessed the rise of a new hostility towards... The administration's strategy would harden the anti-war left and lead in 1984 to a political showdown. He said that these missiles were less dangerous than ballistic missiles because you could fire them and you could recall them if you decided there had been a miscalculation. Every election with an incumbent president is a referendum on that president's performance. Mr. President, your rebuttal. With regard to whether Mr. Mondale would be strong as he said he would be, I know that he has a commercial out where he is appearing on the deck of the Nimitz and watching the F-14s take off, and that's an image of strength. Except that if he had had his way when the Nimitz was being planned, he would have been deep in the water out there because there wouldn't have been any Nimitz to stand on. He was against it. <laughs> He was against the F-14 fighter. He was against the M-1 tank. He was against the B-1 bomber. He wanted to cut the salary of the, all of the military. He wanted to bring home half of the American forces in Europe. And he has a record of weakness with regard to our national defense that is second to none. Mr. Kalb, your question to President Reagan. You've been quoted as saying that you do believe deep down that we are heading for some kind of biblical Armageddon. Your Pentagon and your Secretary of Defense have plans for the United States to fight and prevail in a nuclear war. Do you feel that we are now heading perhaps for some kind of nuclear Armageddon? And do you feel that this country and the world could survive that kind of calamity? With regard to having to say whether uh, we would try to survive in the event of a nuclear war, of course we would. But let me also point out that to several parliaments around the world, in Europe and in Asia, I have made a statement in each, to each one of them, and I'll repeat it here. A nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought. On election day, the American people passed judgment on Ronald Reagan's ideas and elected him with the greatest landslide in American history. For Walter Mondale, it was the end of the line. But for Ronald Reagan, the end game had begun.